In this lesson, I'll introduce you to the fundamental counting principle. The fundamental counting principle states that the number of ways in which a series of successive things can occur is found by multiplying the number of ways in which each thing can occur. Now, if that's confusing to you, let's take a look at three different examples. A pizza can be ordered with three choice of size, small, medium, or large. So for the sizes, we have three options. There are four choices of crust, thin, thick, crispy, or regular. So I'll write down crust four. And six choices of toppings, ground beef, sausage, pepperoni, bacon, mushrooms, or onions. So I'll write down toppings six. How many different one topping pizzas can you order? Now to do this, you'll take three, four, and six, and multiply them together. And by doing that, you'll get the different one topping pizzas that can be ordered. So we'll multiply three times four times six. And if you plug this into your calculator, you'll end up with 72. So there are 72 different one topping pizzas that can be ordered. Now in question two, we're asked, you take a survey with five yes or no answers. How many different ways could you complete the survey? So we have five stages. We have question one, you have two options. In question two, we have two options. Question three, another two, four, and five, the same thing. So if I multiply two times two times two times two, in other words, two to the power of five, I end up with 32 different ways in which the survey can be filled out. And here's one last question for good measure. The last question reads, a company puts a code on each different product they sell. The code is made up of three numbers and two letters. How many different codes are possible? So in our first stage, let's say we encounter a number. There are 10 possible numbers, zero through nine. So 10 times, let's say we encounter another number, zero through nine, that's a total of 10. And then we encounter a letter. It doesn't matter, you can continue with another number, it's not going to change the outcome here. But if you encounter a letter, you have from A through Z, that's 26 possibilities. Another letter would be 26, and another number, the last one, would be 10. So if we multiply this number out, 10 times 10 times 10 times 26, and another 26, we end up with 676,000 different combinations. And there you have it, three examples on how to use the fundamental counting principle.